Let's visit Stockholm, the capital of Sweden. Stockholm is widely regarded as one of the world's most beautiful cities, and in this city guide we will show you its most important sites. So stay on our channel and enjoy. Stockholm is the capital and largest city of Sweden, as well as the largest urban area in Scandinavia. Approximately 1 million people live in the municipality, and around 2.4 million in the metropolitan area. The city stretches across 14 islands, where Lake Malaren flows into the Baltic Sea. Outside the city to the east and along the coast, is the island chain of the Stockholm Archipelago. Positioned at the eastern end of the central Swedish lowland, the city's location reflects the early orientation of Swedish trade toward the Baltic region. Over 30% of the city area is made up of waterways, and another 30% is made up of parks and green spaces. Stockholm was officially founded in 1252 by the regent of Sweden, Berger Jarl. By the end of the 13th century, Stockholm had grown to become Sweden's biggest city, serving as the country's political center and royal residence, one that was repeatedly besieged over the following centuries. King Gustav Vasa is forever celebrated for recapturing Stockholm in 1523 from the temporary rule of the King of Denmark. Stockholm developed rapidly in the mid-17th century, as Sweden temporarily became a great power. In the 18th century, fires destroyed large parts of the city, and stone buildings were constructed to replace the old wooden houses. Stockholm had by then become the cultural center of Sweden. Many of its literary societies and scientific academies date from this time. By the second half of the 19th century, Stockholm had regained its leading economic role. New industries emerged and Stockholm was transformed into an important trade and service center. Stockholm became a modern, technologically advanced, and ethnically diverse city in the latter half of the 20th century. Many historical buildings were torn down during the modernist era, including substantial parts of the historical district of Clara, and replaced with modern architecture. The city is home to some of Europe's top-ranking universities, such as the Stockholm School of Economics. It hosts the annual Nobel Prize ceremonies and banquet at the Stockholm Concert Hall and Stockholm City Hall. The city is easy to get around on foot or public transport, and its various districts have their own unique vibes. The island of Södermalm has a laid-back air and is a draw for the creative set, while Östermalm is the picture of refined elegance. Nestling between these two areas, Normalm is a busy and vibrant downtown spot, and you'll find the charming old town south of Normalm. Dating from the 1200s and crammed with must-see sites, attractions, authentic restaurants and boutique shops, the area of the old town is a living, breathing museum in its own right. Plenty of souvenirs and gifts are available in the old town, and you will find yourself transported back to medieval times as you meander through a bewildering labyrinth of tiny, winding streets, many of which lead to the main public square. Located by the water's edge on the periphery of the old town, Stockholm's royal palace is the official residence of the King of Sweden. A rich taste of the once mighty Swedish empire, the palace is one of the largest in Europe, boasting in excess of 600 rooms and several museums. Dating from the 18th century and built in Baroque style, the palace houses many gems. Here, you can see Queen Christina's silver throne and visit the Museum of Antiquities. A tranquil oasis in the heart of the city, the island of Jurgården draws crowds of tourists and locals alike, particularly during the summer months of long lazy days and short nights. 
The park forms part of the Royal National City Park, and it's a perfect place for a stroll and picnic, as well as being home to several of Stockholm's top museums and other attractions. Nestled at the water's edge and topped by three golden crowns, the City Hall is one of Stockholm's most iconic buildings. Dating from 1923, it stars in countless images and postcards of the city. Housed within are assembly rooms, offices, works of art, and the machinery of civil democracy. The prestigious annual Nobel banquets are held here. A particular treat is the chance to view the city from the famous tower. The oldest open-air museum in the world, Skunsen opened in 1891 on the island of Jurgården and is a wonderful attraction for families, particularly those with young children. Not only will you be treated to an authentic taste of Sweden as it once was, but also the wonderful Skunsen Aquarium and the Children's Zoo. More than 150 different buildings and houses were collected from all around the country and reassembled here. The Vasa Museum is the most visited museum in Sweden. More than one million people a year come here to enjoy different exhibitions. A variety of historic vessels are also located on site, including an icebreaker, a lightship, and a torpedo boat. The incredible Vasa battleship, the main attraction at Stockholm's Vasa Museum, was intended to be the pride of the Swedish Imperial fleet. Yet, in a forerunner of the Titanic disaster centuries later, this majestic 64-gun vessel sank on its maiden voyage in 1628. The sea flows through the arteries of Stockholm, and during the summer months the city is quite literally awash with boats of all shapes and sizes. Many citizens of Stockholm own summer houses on the islands of the archipelago and spend the most weekends there. It all makes for a Friday evening commute like no other. The tourists can also take a trip under the bridges of Stockholm or spend an hour or two on the Royal Canal Tour. Best of all, cruises are available year-round and can be just as much fun in winter. Situated on Stockholm's southern fringe, Sky View takes you to the top of the world's largest spherical building, the Ericsson Globe, one of Stockholm's modern landmarks. From 130 meters above sea level, you'll be treated to an unforgettable view over the entire city. Tours aboard the gondolas take about 30 minutes and depart every 10 minutes, but be prepared for long lines at peak times of the day. After the trip, sightseers can visit the restaurant and souvenir shop. The Stockholm subway system is said to be the world's longest art exhibit, 110 kilometers long. Traveling by subway is like traveling through an exciting story that extends from the artistic pioneers of the 1950s to the art experiments of today. 100 stations, each with unique art on its platform, walls, or waiting hall. Since 1957, artists have played a key role when new stations have been built. And over time the metro's older stations, planned and built without any art, have been spruced up with beautiful murals and installations.
It's no surprise that Stockholm's peak season is in the summer. Because of this, flights into the city tend to be considerably more expensive, as well as accommodation prices. Along with great weather, a lot of cafes and attractions are opened up ready and welcoming all visitors to enjoy, unlike the off-season. Festivals and events are more common during the peak season, which offer visitors an exciting and fun alternative to just sightseeing. Did you like our Stockholm City Guide? Let us know in the comments. If you love this video, hit the like button and subscribe. You should also check out other great videos on our channel.